one of the stupidest things on the internet is it's Daniel Mack. It's a guy who goes up to people who are driving nice cars and is like, hey, I love your car. What do you do for a living? And I'm gonna explain why it is stupid and why most of America will never have those cars. So why do I think it's stupid? You just knowing what someone does is not going to help you. It's not going to help you. We all know that if you become a doctor, you're going to make a lot of money. We all know that. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got to go to undergrad. I got to go to medical school. I got to do a residency. What people are looking for on the Daniel Mag, which I think is truly stupid, I don't watch it, is they're looking for shortcuts. They're looking for easy ways to make a lot of money. That's what they're looking for. They're not looking for, because like once again, the whole premise of it is stupid. What do you do for a living? As if that's gonna help you make that kind of money. It's not. So I'm about to get into this little roll this bean footage talking about what I do and how me telling you what I do, even though I haven't hidden it, it's in the videos, is not going to help you make the money that I make. It's not going to help you. I'm going to explain why after this bean footage. Of late, there have been some moist men in the comments who've been talking about, I can't watch your videos, man, because I can't figure out what you do. And I found that to be hilarious because I am showing you what I do. So let's go ahead for the moist men and all the people who's like, oh, man, I am, you know, um, I can't watch your channels. I came here for the information, the money information. Really? You came here for the money information? Really? Really? Uh, let me, let me show you something. Foundational principles. Let me show you something. All right. For all of you lazy, sad people who can't do this. So, all right. I have tons and tons of videos on this channel. They have nothing to do with haters. They have nothing to do with um, any of the stuff. They have nothing that they are strictly about building businesses. Now this is going to be kind of long, right? So I got a question. Why can't you guys go back and watch the older videos? What is keeping you from watching the older videos other than laziness? Uh, you know what? I'm going to really say something. Um, it's not laziness. It's apathy. You don't have the ability to actually do deep research. Because I wouldn't have to do a video if you were an enterprising, inquisitive person. It's like, well, let me go check out J Glendon's older videos. Everything that I do, everything that I talk about, is in these videos. Now, there's like 4,000 videos. I will say there's 4,000 videos. So if you're making the comment, oh, no, what you do, man? I got to stop watching. Please stop watching so I can stop reading your moist, dripping with vagina juice comments. Because this ain't that hard. There are a ton of videos. Now, I'm just, you know, ton of videos here. Ton of videos. Ton of videos. They have nothing to do with haters. That, but... How come you're not watching them? Oh, that's right. You're you're 
full of apathy and you're dripping that vagina juice because you don't know how to do anything. And through all my stages, all my stages of doing YouTube is on this YouTube channel. Now I have other ones, but I'm showing you this one because this is the flagship YouTube channel. I'm getting ready to um, do some things. And all right, me talking about my life is bragging. Um, you know, it must be beyond sad to be so mentally weak that when you see a man on the internet talking about his life, you construe that as bragging because you ain't done shit in your sad life. You know, I've been watching for two months and all you do is brag and brag. And I'm about to say something. All right. I'm going to say something in a minute because uh, I'm going through this. Like there's a ton of videos on this channel. that have nothing to do with haters. They have nothing. And in the beginning, I pretty much kept my um, success kind of hidden. So there won't be no bragging, man. There won't be no bragging. So there's, there's a ton of videos on here. I used to do interviews. Um, I got a lot of stuff on here. So... I ask you, why aren't you watching the older videos? Oh, that's right, because you feel that new is better. So you're waiting on the new stuff. Like, let me tell you something. Some of the best books on Amazon are 10, 12, 13, 14 years old. Good information. Good information. So don't leave me a comment on this channel because I'm just going to delete it and cuss you out when you haven't watched the older videos because for some reason a lot of clowns feel that if it ain't new it ain't worth watching and that is a moist vagina mindset because uh once again a lot of people who came here to watch the video black money i see these people have been all over the channel i see comments on videos sixes see the intelligent nerdy black folks know how to use the search function they know how to look at the older videos I, every morning i wake up and i see 30 40 comments from my older videos by the 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 nerd tribe by the the nerd gang by the intelligent black folks not the weak moist moist men I'm about to get into some. I'm about to get into some. Because uh, I'm just showing you all of these older videos. Been on YouTube 13 years. So there's like 4,000 videos. 4,000 videos. And if you're just waiting for me something to hop, like once again, the apathy is very, very bad. The apathy is so, I don't even know how to call it because you guys be on me. And also, if you were to go back through the older videos, I was giving away business courses for free. Oh, that's right. You don't know how to look back. You don't know how to, um, you don't know how to do that. So easy. And this is what's so funny. You're sitting on your ass watching a video. You're sitting on your ass watching a video and it's too hard to use the search function. So don't leave me any more of those comments talking about I don't know what you do because we're about to get into it and I'm about to say something. Um, you can't do what I do. Let me go ahead and say this again. You cannot do what I do. You don't have the drive. 
you don't have the ambition you don't have the talent you don't have the experience so knowing exactly what i do ain't gonna help you because you can't do it you you, you just can't do it knowing what i do cannot help you because you can't do it you don't have a talent homie you don't have the ability homie and more importantly you don't have the knowledge so i know that most of you clowns who are leaving these comments man i've been watching for two months i'm trying to figure out what you do i've said it over and over again which means that you're not watching every video i find it very interesting for you to be coming on here uh talking all this smack when you're not watching the majority of the videos see all right there's so much content here there's so much educational content shout out to the nerd tribe shout out to the nerd gang because these folks who have intelligence are finding the older videos and watching them but you lazy fucks who want me to serve it up on a go in the kitchen and cook it put it on a plate and bring it to your ass while you're sitting in the dining room you lazy fucks so once again uh you cannot i'm gonna i'm getting ready to tell you exactly what i do and you can't do it you don't have the talent you don't have the ability you don't have the um chops you don't have the ability to do what i do you don't like i'm going to tell you exactly what i do and i guarantee you that 99.9 .9 of you who will try to do what i'm doing can't do it can't do it so i mean I've just spent this few minutes rolling through like there's tons of videos on this channel that you're not watching because you have apathy and you want it's, it's like you're a little bitty boy you want me to hold your dick and run it to the restroom while you pee and shake it when you're done you lazy fuck. You're lazy fuck. Like, once again, there's tons and tons of information on this channel. And that's just, I'm just going to do this channel. I'm not going to go through all of my channels. But, so stop, like I said, stop messaging me and leaving these comments. I came here for the business here. You, you bet you didn't come here for no business information. You came to see here if I was going to deteriorate. You came to see if I was going to fail. You came to see if I was going to leave YouTube. You came to, hear, to see if I would stumble and fall. You're not interested in building no business. You're not interested. You're not interested in building nothing. You're not interested in being a dominant man. You're not interested in that. You're not interested in learning how to make money. You're not interested in that. Many of you haters just come here to see if I'm going to lose, if I'm gonna stop making videos, if I'm gonna go away, if some bad's gonna happen. All right. So these are the videos that you have not watched. You've not watched these videos. There's a ton of videos on this channel. They have nothing to do with haters. They have nothing to do with me talking about my accomplishments. Nothing. But you don't watch those because you're waiting to be spoon fed like a child. 
information because you're too lazy to get off your fucking ass and do what you need to do and act like a man. Once again, I got a whole bunch of new subscribers and a lot of the smart, intelligent subscribers have found the old videos. It ain't a secret. Videos are not hidden. It's not a secret. You should be able to find these old videos. It's real simple. There's a ton of information. You could literally come here and watch a video every day for two years and no longer than two years. You could watch two or three videos a day for years and never watch the same video with the content that's already up here. Uh, I'm like, once again, like I keep hearing this stuff like, man, I didn't I came here for the business advice. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You didn't come here for the business advice. You came here to watch a show. Because if you came here for the business advice, you would have found the business advice. <coughs> you would have found the business advice. Because it, it's here. There are so many vi videos out here. Now. You did not come for the business advice. You did not come for the business advice. No, you didn't. Like I am showing you all of these old videos. I have a series on here talking about the car rental business going into great detail. You ain't watching those videos. You're not watching those videos. You're looking for something simple easy something that you don't have to stress yourself you're looking for something so simple so easy you're not looking for anything real you're not looking for anything because once again you would have found these videos and a lot of the videos that deal with substance that deal with business you guys don't watch you're looking for drama you're looking for excitement you're looking for drama you're looking how to secure the bag that's what you're looking for that's what you're looking for you're not looking to learn how to start a business and once again this is when I changed my thumbnail game. So you've not watched the older videos. You've not watched any of the older videos. So all this stuff about, I came here for the business advice. I ain't come here to hear about Vader's. Some of my best videos you've not watched. Now let's get to what I do to make money. This um, platform is like six years old. I sell online courses. I sell online courses. I sell online courses. You can't sell online courses because you don't know how. So this is what I do. This is how I make all that long cheese. Boom. You can't buy anything on this one because my payment processor has said, screw you. And I'm getting ready to get into this. And then I do a little consulting. That's what I do. Now I have told you what I do. And now you know, and I'm going to talk about why you, you can't do what I do. I'm going to talk about why you cannot do what I do. And it's going to get a little deep. 
Okay, so I have a lot of people who get pissed whenever I do a video that isn't about business. I've literally got 4,000 videos on this channel that talk about business. In my early part of my YouTube career, which I'm going back to, I didn't show any receipts. I was very understated. So there was no bragging. Let's talk about that. Why, when I say that I have the ability to pay, a, you know, pay cash for a Porsche, why does that disturb you? Why does that get on your nerves? Why does that offend you? I'm gonna tell you why, because you're a weak little bitch. See, I'm a child of the 60s and 70s, and we grew up knowing that there were other men, other boys who were better than us. And we were able to congratulate, celebrate these guys, and be cool with this. But you single mother babies, you got a problem with that. It's like, uh, I have a guy who literally thinks that I am paying all of the new subscribers to leave these comments and I'm paying for views. He has stated it because I blocked him on three channels and he comes up there, you're buying comments, you're buying views. Because he cannot accept the fact that I am better than he is. He just simply cannot accept the fact. And when I see these comments, because I've been doing YouTube 13 years, I know based upon your comment if you're going to enter into the hater zone. And I saw some comments recently, like, I, I've been watching your channel for two months. I can't figure out what you do. All you do is brag. I can't figure it out. Let me tell you why you can't figure it out. Because you're lazy and you're looking for a shortcut. You're looking for some ease. You're looking for comfort. You're, you're, you're not trying to build anything. You're looking for the fastest, easiest way to make money. And this is why you get so disturbed because once again, there's a, a lot of new people on this channel, right? And a lot of the new people have found the older videos. I wake up and I see comments on videos five, six, seven years ago, every morning. Why have these intelligent people found those older videos, but you haven't? You wanna know why? Because you're not looking to try to work. You're looking for Daniel Mack. Oh, I love your car. What do you do for a living? And if the magical information that this person's saying, I'm in the real estate, is automatically going to make you get some money. I think it's one of the stupidest things, but it is part and parcel of the culture that we live in of rent seeking individuals. Now, in that wonderful bean footage, I tell you exactly what I do. And guess what? You can't do it. And I'm about to list the reasons, number one, that you can't do it. Number one, you don't know how to work. You do not know how to work. Number two, you have no experience. Number three, you haven't done shit in your life. You have no experiences that you can package in the online course and sell. You've done nothing. You've done nothing. There's nothing unique or special about you that anyone would pay for in an online course because you ain't done shit in your life. That's number three. Number four, you don't know how to teach. Once again, I am speaking to the single parent household babies. I've never seen such a large contingency of men who don't know how to do shit. You don't know how to change oil. You don't know how to do brakes. Y'all don't know how to do shit, but want the world. This is why I'm about to go somewhere. I'm about to go somewhere. This is why you can't get a good woman. You know you want the baddest bitch. You want the hottest bitch. You know, she's got those eyes, she's got those lips, she's got those breasts, she's got that hip waist differential. That's what you want. But you can't get it because you ain't shit. I look at the internet and I see all of these stories of all these guys who are butt hurt because they can't get an attractive woman. You wanna know why you can't get an attractive woman? Because you ain't done nothing in life. You radiate no masculine energy. So all you do is sit and hate. Like, 
Once again, I am very thankful for my nerd tribe from the nerd gang. I love you guys. I want more of them. I don't want any of you Pookies and Ray Rays. Because one of the reasons that you see, it's like, oh, he's got over 100,000 subscribers. He's black, so I'm gonna watch the channel. That's it. That's the main reason that some of you watch this channel. And another reason that some of you watch this channel is to hate, just to hate. Like this one dude, he went, I blocked him on this channel. I blocked him on the House of Pain. And he, he went over to, um, he subscribed to all my channels to hate, to leave disparaging comments because my success disturbs him. I mean, he's coming up with lies. Like, uh, I'm not buying views. I'm not buying comments. Many of you people who leave the well-constructed comments know that. You're leaving them because you want to leave them. You enjoy the content. But this Pookie, this Ray Ray, this single mother, the product of a single mother home, he cannot acknowledge that. Because once again, I list the reasons. Now you know what I do. You can't do it. I was able to package up my sexual experiences and create the disruptive mail. And I was making about $25,000 a month from that. That's what I do. I do YouTube. And honestly, I am taking YouTube way more serious than I ever did it. I used to just do YouTube as a marketing arm. And I feel in the next three years, I can make 250,000 a year from YouTube. So I'm actually like, that's worth doing. That's worth doing. So I'm taking YouTube a lot more seriously. And once again, one of you, one of the reasons that you can't do YouTube is you haven't done nothing in life. You haven't done nothing. You have no, I have 4,000 videos which range from starting businesses, to creating LLCs, to marketing, to selling, to hiring people. I have a vast array of experiences that I can package up and create content and I can package up and create online courses, which gives me money. Which for some reason bothers the Pookies and the Ray Rays. It bothers you that I can like go into the Porsche dealership, pick the car I want and pay cash for it. That bothers you. That upsets you. You want to know why? And I'm about to go way back in time when I used to be a hater. When I was a self-loathing hater. Because see, I was in the same position that you're in. At that time, I haven't done shit. I didn't have any experience. I was just working a regular job. I was just a regular person. And I used to hate Michael Jordan because I was like, he ain't that good. He ain't that good. Argumentally, the greatest basketball player ever. And I was hating. I created these stupid fantasies. Michael Jordan ain't that good. I used to work with a girl who had a cousin who played on the Bulls. And then he would come in and tell us the things that Mike would do in practice. Like if you fucked up in practice, Mike might punch you. Mike, Michael Jordan was hyper, hyper competitive. Hyper competitive. And this is one of the things that made him great. And until I started to realize personal success, I wasn't able to give Michael Jordan his kudos because I was a hating little bitch. Which is how I know that this is where you are. Like the, the, the person who like he buying views, or the people is like, you know, he gonna come off of that paying cash for cars. Ain't no, ain't no, and let me just say it for the Pookies and the Ray Rays in the nomenclature that they understand. Ain't no nigga with that kind of money. I'm a nigga, I don't have that kind of money. That's what they understand. That's what they understand. They understand the nigger problem. They understand I am a nigger, I ain't shit. And that's why they hate me, because I don't use that nomenclature. I don't believe that any black person is a nigger. And this is why they hate me, because they're self-loathing, they hate themselves, and this is one of the biggest issues why you, 
now you know what I do and you can't do it, is you don't have no faith in yourself. You have no ability in yourself. You have no faith. You, like once again, I live in abundance. This is why I'm getting ready to give a car away. A car I paid $8,000. I'm getting ready to give it away. I'm gonna give it away. You wanna know why I'm giving it away? Because I'm gonna get it back times 20. Because I believe in abundance. You don't believe in yourself. You don't believe in abundance. You don't believe in nothing. And you just hang around here. And this is why I made that video. Because I want you Pookies and Ray Rays to get the fuck on. You're annoying. Literally going from channel to channel to channel to leave the piss on my channels. Because you don't have shit else to do. Now you know what I do. I create online courses. I create YouTube content. I do online. I do consulting. And I make money from all of them. I make more money from each one of those things than you do in a year. I make more money in one month than you do in a year. There I go bragging again. Just bragging. See, one of the reasons that you cannot accept, even with the preponderance of the evidence, the Porsche, the lifestyle, the money, the content, you cannot accept that I'm better than you. You just simply cannot accept it. I live better than you. I eat better than you. I drive better than you. I fuck better than you. You cannot accept it because you a pookie and a ray ray. Now, if I came on here dripping, you know, with uh, with the drip and the chain and the, the, the bracelet and the iced out watch, and I came up here and I was talking about, hey, how you know, I'm getting ready to drop this sauce. Y'all would love that because you understand that. That's more relatable to you, Pookies and Ray Rays. Actually working hard, building a business. Oh, let's look like I have white customers. How in the hell does this black boy have white customers? White people are inherently racist. I'm about to tell y'all a story. Lay Paris, get ready. You know how many white chicks I was able to run my black ass penis up without a condom? It ain't even a, it ain't even a conversation. I'm like right there and I'm getting ready to go in and they just look at me and it's like, give me that dick. Just give me that dick. See, that ain't supposed to happen. Because I'm going to tell you something. Black chicks are more likely to make you wear a condom than a white chick. Or an Asian chick. Or a Hispanic chick. Now, professional whores will make you wear a condom because they know they live in file. But, yeah, I've been able to run up in a lot of white pussy without a condom. Me being black, me being fit, oh, oh, oh. I am not supposed to know the things that I know. I have a friend who calls me the white girl whisperer, and it's hilarious. And because I took chances, because I wasn't a scared little bitch, I put myself out there. And in the course of putting myself out there, I have failed so many times. It's to the point where failure doesn't even phase me. Failure doesn't even bother me. It's like, okay, that didn't work out. Let's just keep going. And I keep going and I keep going and I keep going and I keep going. I got people who are disturbed because I, I have the audacity to change the name of a YouTube channel. Why do you keep changing the names? Because I want to, punk. You don't tell me what to do and what not to do. I'm in the process of creating a media company. And because you have no experience, you don't know anything about how the internet works, you're not producing content, you just consume content, it disturbs you when I change the name. It's like, how is this, he, he's supposed to just stay the same. He's just supposed to be in this box and he's never supposed to come out the box. And then I did that video in October that got me a whole bunch of subscribers across all of my channels. Wait a minute, he's supposed to be in jail. How the hell he gonna put that on the internet and still be on the internet and winning? What the hell? When I was on the lead attorney show, I said, we'll see six months, not 
two weeks, not three weeks, not two months. We will see the final result in six months. Why? Because I've been doing this 13 years. I know how YouTube works. If I wanted to produce content that I personally feel is useless, I could blow up a YouTube channel like Disruptive Mail. Uh, I don't create the content that I know that the vast majority of men on YouTube want to see. They want to see content that disparages women, mocks women, makes fun of women. I want to teach you motherfuckers how to win with women. And here's the thing, I don't hate women. I don't hate women. I've had women, not this door, but come to my house, get buck naked. I walk up to them, slide my dick in their lips, and they start sucking my dick with passion and reckless abandon. Why well, I'm gonna hate women. I've had so many positive experiences with women. There is no hate for women, but most of you men, brookies and ray rays, you hate women. A lot of you guys hate women. You wanna know how I know hate women? Cause you get off on this content that disparages women. Uh, I'm going to teach men how to get women, how to be, to occupy the masculine frame, how to win with women. I don't hate women. I don't hate women. I like women. And this is why I'm able to get women cause I actually like women and they feel the vibe. It's like, oh, this guy's not a hater. Like, you know, I don't care if a chick wears makeup. If she, if she wears makeup and that makes her feel good, by all means, wear makeup. I don't give a shit. I don't really care. If a woman wants to go get her eyebrows arched, cool. If that makes you feel beautiful, that makes you feel good about yourself, do it. I am not one of these men hating on all the things that makes a woman a woman. Yet most of you Ray Rays and Bookies, y'all just hate on the things that make a woman. Um, a woman wants to feel good about herself. A woman wants to feel beautiful. And a lot of you clowns will do everything in your power to counteract that. Most of you clowns don't even know how to talk to a woman. I'm about to give you a lesson here. You're with a woman and you've been intimate. And then she gets really, really open and she gets really vulnerable and she starts crying. This is what you do. By all means, don't leave. What you do is you pull her close, you rub her back, and you hold her when she cries, and you let her get it out of her system. When you do that, she will remember you forever because in her moment of being vulnerable and when she needed comfort, you gave it to her. But most of you clowns don't know this. Be like, hey, apparently you're not feeling well. I'm about to go home because you don't know how to deal with that. Now you do know how to deal with it. Just hold her. Rub her a little back, stroke her hair. And then, you know, once she starts crying, you can have some of the most awesome sex. I remember this chick, she, um, <clears throat> she just fell apart on me. She was going through it, she was having it. I just held her and I talked to her and I stroked her hair, told a few jokes, made her laugh. She sucked my dick like she ain't never sucked my dick before. Cause I was there for her. But most of you clowns, you're, you're trying to get shit from women without giving them anything. You, you just don't get how the game is. You, once again, many of you don't know your place in the grand scheme of things. As a man, you're supposed to be a protector, a provider. You're supposed to be the man. But many of you act like bitches. And you understand. And let me just say it. A bitch can't get a bitch. This is one of your biggest issues. Because I see you guys, and once again, to the nerd people, to the intellectuals who watch the older videos, who are not asking me, I can't figure out what you do, man. As if that's gonna put money in your pocket. It's not, because you can't do what I can do. You don't know how to create an online curriculum. You don't know how to be an educator. And you know, one of the things that taught me how to be an educator is teaching women how to be submissive. There's a certain phrase, there's a certain way that you have to conduct your classes. You, don't, you guys don't know how to do that because you ain't done nothing in life. All you do is hope and wish for the easiest way to make money. I went through a period of many reiterations when I was creating my online courses. 
My first online course, I was using Vidcaster and I had pieced it together. I had like four pieces of software and I had to go from that to Hustlers Kung Fu, which was my first successful online course. Vidcaster, I think I had like 50 students. 50 students. Then Hustlers Kung Fu, I have 5,000. And then B School for Hustlers, I've got like uh, about 3,000. So between those two platforms, I have 9,000 students. But once again, and shout out to my boy, Alan Roger Curry. He has packaged his mode one abilities into a career in a revenue stream because he went out and did something that the average person doesn't do. And he wrote books about it. He has multiple books. I think he has six books. So once again, now that you know what I do, you can't do it because you don't have the discipline to sit in a room and create an online curriculum. You can't do it. You got to pull out your phone and look at TikTok and watch Daniel Mac. Like, oh, I love your car. What do you do? That's the kind of stuff that turns you on. Like, I don't watch it because it's complete bullshit. To me, an intelligent thinking man watching content of someone walking up to people and asking them what they do and how they got that car, I know will do nothing for me. Absolutely nothing. It's like he, he, he pulled up on Mr. Organic and Mr. Organic says, I sell my organic. I'm the most nutritious human being. And I'm just sitting there like, it's just bullshit. It's just bullshit. And this is one of the reasons that I am not showing receipts. I am not pulling that stuff out anymore because it brings the wrong kind of people. It brings you Pookie and Ray Rays and assholes who literally will see the receipts and like, he ain't driving a Porsche. He ain't living in a high rise. And oh man, when I was on Disruptive Mail and I was putting up receipts of the women, oh, I became hated. It's like, how are you at 55 years old are pulling something like that? I'm younger. Shit, I got a six pack and I can't get a bitch like that. How the hell can you get a bitch like that? One, number one, my mental. My mental is very strong. I'm about to tell you something. And this is part of why you should write down your dream girl profile. When you write down your dream girl profile, what you do is you program your subconscious mind. And you guys don't get to, you don't even want to do the work. It's like, I don't want to do it. Lazy. When I was growing up, there was a term that was called sorry. A lot of you are sorry as fuck. You don't do shit. You don't build shit. You don't create shit. All you do is exist and breathe and hate. That's all you're capable of doing. Pookie, Ray Ray, you product of a single mother home. You don't even appreciate them. Whenever I talk about getting married, I see all these comments like Glendon ain't married. Um, I used to be married and I had my children in the marriage. And if I have any more kids, I will be married. You, 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 you can't do what I do because you, you don't have the level of courage. Like I will go out out of here and I see a girl and right now I'm not doing that because I'm in a relationship. But if I see a girl that's pretty, I don't care what I look like, I don't care what my fit looks like, I will walk up and introduce my damn self. Most of you weak ass busters can't do that. You wanna find out what her Instagram is so you can slide up in her DMs versus actually talking to her like a real person. You can't do it. So now that you know what I do, please stop leaving those moist comments just dripping with vagina in the like, I don't know what you do. I can't figure out what you do. Cause you don't know how to watch older videos. Everything I do, I talk about on YouTube. It ain't no secret. So if I see a comment, I can't figure out what you do to make all this money. It's not a secret. I'm quite open about it. it just means that you're a dumbass. That's all it means. If you're asking me, what do you do? I can't figure out what you do. You're a dumbass. Pretty much. Plain and simple. 
So that will be the end of this conversation. I need to get back to training. I need to get back to creating online courses because it took me a good little break. Now I'm about to get back to it. So hopefully this has educated you. And I know Lay Paris, you're having fun. You're laughing your ass off. And um, yeah, now you know what I do. You can't do it because you don't have the width and the breadth of experience to pull it off because you ain't done shit in life. You stupid ass monkey. Yeah, I said that.